Roger, anyone there? This winter storm warning just popped up. I'm trying to get over the mountain before the storm starts. Calling for four feet of snow. This should be fun. Let's see how this adventure goes. <laughs> over, Roger, anyone there? Let's go. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Citizens are advised. Welcome to my new home for the next couple of weeks. This is the four wheel camper Hawk setup on a Ram 3500 Prospector series. It's an AEV conversion on 37s with a three inch lift and this thing is a beast. This Hawk four wheel camper setup is one of the best off-road campers you can get. And when you combine it with this beast of a Ram 3500 Prospector edition, you can't get any better. You should be able to go anywhere you want. And that's what's perfect because I love outdoor winter adventures and that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do some winter snow wheeling and some winter camping because I wanna know how well this thing drives in the snow, how warm and snuggly I can stay and just how much fun I can have. So let's get started. <laughs> So this is the trail that Alex took me on and all of a sudden the snow got super deep and he got stuck. So he's got to air down and use traction boards to get out of this. <laughs> I hope I don't have to tow him out because as you can see, it's totally coming down. I don't know when it's going to stop, but this should be interesting. Well, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of this. I'm just gonna get your rig and make you winch me out. It's some pretty deep snow. Trail got really deep really fast. Try to deflate the tires and back out of here. my weight on the back so we can get out of this. Okay, ready. getting pretty nuts. I think it's time to find camp.
So the snow is coming down really hard and it's getting dark. I found a place to set up camp. I'm gonna show you how fast and easy this four wheel camper pops up into a full size camper. It pops right up, there's just a couple clips, but then I'm gonna get nice and cozy and get a good night's sleep because the storm is calling for three to four feet of snow over the next two days or so. And the ski resorts have closed because of this crazy virus going on. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do in the next day or two. I planned on snowboarding. Maybe I'll do some split boarding. <sighs> I don't know. But right now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set this up. We're gonna get started. Welcome inside. Now that I have this Hawk four wheel camper all set up and popped up, I'm just gonna give you a quick idea of what the inside looks like. If you want a full tour with all the specifics and details on this Hawk four wheel camper, make sure you watch my next video where I cover all the details. But for now, I'm just gonna get nice and cozy and get a good night's rest. This is the bed area of the camper. This is just for one person, but this actually extends and pulls all the way out for a much larger sleeping area. But for me, it's perfect. This is the dinette area. It seats two people. The table is adjustable on a swivel and you can actually remove it, put the cushions down and it becomes an additional sleeping area. This is the back side of the camper. And on this side, you have a large countertop space, a bunch of storage drawers and a refrigerator. Here we have another countertop space, a sink, a stove, a furnace, a thermostat, and all your controls. I'm getting pretty sleepy. I think it's about time to go to bed. I'm nice and toasty and warm because the furnace keeps it nice and warm in here, and this bed is super comfortable. And I can't wait to get a good night's sleep, wake up, and see how much snow there is on the ground tomorrow, and then have an adventure. I'm probably gonna go snowboarding. However, all the ski resorts are closed, so it may very well likely be splitboarding. I'm not sure, I guess we'll see. Either way, it'll be a great time and I can't wait to see what happens. But for now, it's time to get some shut eye. So thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, I hope you're doing well because I'm feeling fabulous. As you can see, we got a ton of snow last night. We got two feet of snow. I was woken up by plows, they plowed all around me. So I had to get out of bed get dressed, clean off the camper. It took about 30 minutes. I was ready to go snowboarding because there was only like one resort open, but come to find out they closed too. Just out of extra precaution. So we're going to plan B. I'm gonna go split boarding. I'm gonna meet up with some friends. And because of how the avalanche risk can be when we get this much snow this fast, I just don't wanna risk going in the back country. So I'm gonna to try to split board at the resorts. Technically it's US forestry land, so I'm hoping there isn't any issues. I'm gonna split board up, snowboard down, get a couple runs, maybe the best runs of my life with all the snow we got and no crowds. So I'm super excited for this adventure and I'm super impressed with this rig. This Hawk four wheel camper is amazing. I was warm and toasty last night. I didn't have any problems, nothing froze, even through a snowstorm. This thing is seriously amazing. I don't have any issues. I haven't had any maneuverability problems. It goes anywhere I point it. If you're excited or you're into extreme weather adventures, this is the setup for you. I literally am so impressed. I'm super excited because I have an adventure today. They're calling for another 12 inches of snow. I'm gonna build an igloo. Just kidding, this is way better. I'm gonna stick with the hawk. <laughs> I wish you could see it right now. The trees are beautiful. They're covered in snow. It's super peaceful. Everyone's inside. I'm okay, I'm covered. I'm escaping in this hawk and just disappearing. I'm going off grid away from all the craziness. I'm just gonna have to find some toilet paper because every grocery store around is out, so I'm fresh out of that. But that's okay because this is the ideal setup to get off grid, away from people. You don't have to worry about getting somewhere because 
This truck will get you there and this hawk will keep you warm. The perfect end of the world get up. It's a two in one. You can have super fun off-road adventures or you can escape the end of the world. I leave that decision up to you. But today I'm gonna have a split boarding adventure. If you're ready to get started, let's go. All the ski resorts are officially closed, so I'm gonna go split boarding. I've never seen this place more abandoned with this much powder. So we're gonna split board up and snowboard down, get a couple good runs in. The only person on the slopes is a snowman. Unicorn snowman. Great alarms. Let's go, dude. I'm about a quarter of the way up. It's not actually that cold outside. I'm a little warm. I opened all my vents. Finally getting to the good stuff. Just got to hike through some heavy pow. It's getting dark. I definitely don't want to be a bear snack tonight. <laughs> definitely getting dark. It's about seven o'clock, but it's still a little bit light because of the reflection on the snow, but I think it's time to head back. Let's do our last run of powder. Success! <laughs> 